Someone was just saying to me that it's impossible to have truly raw cashews because of the toxic oil, blah, 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 blah. No. These truly raw cashews that we carry are literally the best, creamiest, most healthiest cashews in the world, hands down. See, most cashews are processed using extreme heat to neutralize that caustic and toxic cashew shell oil that they're talking about. So the way we do it is we take these incredible raw cashews from the islands of Indonesia and we process them with extreme cold in order to freeze and stabilize the oil in the shell. Then the cashew shell can be hand sliced, hand cracked, that's kind of like why you've always heard hand cracked cashews, and, and, they're, and they're opened with a special knife. This keeps the to toxic oil off the nut and all the nutrients locked in. The cashews are slowly dried, then finished with some warm air blowing to get a nice crunch. Now, our peeling nuts are also extremely 100% raw, and there's no denying that. I mean, they're pretty much soft when you get them. Um, and every once in a while, you'll find a nut or two in the bag that are no good because, you know, they're raw items, just like any other fruit or anything like that. Um, but anyway, these peeling nuts are so darn good. They're loaded with health, more healthy fat compared to any other nut, making them super fun to eat. They're loaded with vitamin E because of all the fat inside of it. Um, what I love to do is I love to put them in the freezer and then when I take them out, I kind of like uh, nibble the brown skin off and then, you know, it takes a little bit of time and then uh, you get a little bit of the nut in there. And then I like eat the nut um, when the skin is off and it has that texture, I wouldn't say chocolate, but it's kind of like close to it because it's like really hard, but then it's soft as you start chewing into it. See, back in the day, um, when I was first going into this raw food movement, people were trying to duplicate chocolate before they came out with raw cacao and stuff. Um, what they were using were uh, coconut oil. They would take coconut oil, add other ingredients to it, put it in the refrigerator, and then it would, you know, coconut oil hardens in the refrigerator um, or in the freezer. You could then eat it, but they melt really quickly. Um, but then they came out with cacao. But then also we discovered the peeling nuts and we would stone grind them and make um, peeling nut butter and then add sweetened ingredients such as uh, coconut sugar or something like that. And then you just put it in chocolate molds, you like melt it down in the sun or in a dehydrator or something like that because it melts at a, especially this, these stone ground nut butters. Um, and then you would just put them in chocolate molds and eat them. And we actually have a peeling nut butter. We have all of these products at cost right now. Um, the cash, Truly Raw Cashews, the peeling nuts and the peeling nut butters. This is the last time we're ever gonna see these prices as I'm gonna explain to you in a second because of global transportation price increases that have occurred lately, you've probably heard about on the news, but we'll get to that in one second. So these, um, the peeling nut butter, which we also have at cost, this is, you don't have to do the stone grinding, we've done it for you. Well, this company has Divine Organics, we've been doing business with them for a while. Um, so all it is in this um, jar of nut butter is peeling nuts, stone ground, with coconut sugar and some Himalayan salt. What you could literally do is have it melted in the sun or the dehydrator, pour it into chocolate molds, and then you could eat them. It's almost like having chocolate without the cacao stimulation and stuff like that. They're absolutely incredible. And all of these products are at cost. We're gonna do them at cost again in the future, I'm sure, but never at this low price. I just realized after you uh, put them in the chocolate molds, you have to put it in the refrigerator, then they harden up really quickly. That's what peeling nuts do because of the fat. And they harden up perfectly to taste just like chocolate, like the chocolate texture. It's amazing. And they're brown from the skin, so it's like perfect. Anyway, if you've been keeping up with the news about global transportation issues, then you'll know about the cost of international sh shipping skyrocketing like 10 times. It's absolutely ridiculous. Um, for example, shipping a container is now up to $19,000 instead of the old price of $2,000. Um, for additionally, like, I just had to import freeze-dried durian because we only have like 50 bags left. Um, and the shipping price is like three to four times more than what it was before. The cost of the food only goes up a few bucks, but it's still something. The nori sheets is um, the same deal. We just had a promo promotion on nori sheets. I couldn't bring it down as low as I can, as I wanted to, but I did it what I could. Um, and hopefully in the future, um, these prices will come down, but this is where we are for now. It kind of sucks. Um, but I got this really incredible deal on the cashews and peeling nuts um, due to clever planning and meticulous begging. <laughs> um, 
because our supplier, I was like, please, can we just get them at the same price? We got them just a little bit more than what we usually pay, but not that much more. So I can offer them at the same really low price of like 13 something. Um, and same with the peeling nuts. The peeling nuts are always more expensive anyway. So that's just the deal. But um, I committed to paying more um, at the end of the year for my next batch because we're going to sell out of these in like three seconds, um, probably. So anyway, one last time. Unless the shipping world change, global international shipping issues change somehow, we've got our truly raw cashews, the peeling nuts, truly raw peeling nuts. The nori sheets are at cost to you. Um, you might want to get in on the freeze dried during before the price goes up like four or five bucks or whatever. Um, all available at the rawfoodworld.com. Simply go to the at cost page. It's all available there. Um, rock in the house as usual. At cost category therawfoodworld.com, and we'll see you next time at the Raw Food World TV show. Mwah.